contraction of the left ventricle generates systemic blood pressure in a cyclic fashion. When blood pressure in the ventricle exceeds that in the aorta, the aortic valve opens and blood is ejected. During diastole, the ventricle relaxes, and when the pressure in the aorta exceeds that in the ventricle, the aortic valve closes. This occurs at the dichrotic notch. When pressure falls in the ventricle, it is maintained in the aorta. We measure the maximum aortic pressure as the systolic pressure, and the minimum as the diastolic pressure. The pulse pressure is the difference between the systolic and diastolic pressures. An increase in pulse pressure can result when the systolic pressure rises, or the diastolic pressure falls, or both. Let's examine why the elasticity of the aorta is a major determinant of the pulse pressure. The normal aorta has elastic walls which expand in systole. The kinetic energy of forward blood flow is converted to potential energy stored in the stretched aortic walls. In diastole, this energy is released as the walls return to their original size, and this helps maintain diastolic pressure. Aging, hypertension, and atherosclerosis reduce the aorta's elasticity. The stiffened aorta is less able to absorb pressure during ventricular ejection, which results in a higher systolic pressure. In addition, the stiffened aorta stores less potential energy and cannot maintain diastolic pressure as well. Higher systolic and lower diastolic pressures widen the pulse pressure.